Hello, my friends. Uh, today, what we are going to do is that we will make this favorite page. So what this page does is if we uh, go inside any movie and if we click this favorite button and if we go back to our favorite page and we can just see the information about the movie we just added into the favorite list. So this is what we are going to make in this section. So to make this page, first we are going to create a brief template for this favorite page just a brief template and then we are going to fetch favorite movie data stored inside the mongodb and we will populate the data we got from the mongodb in the browser and we will create the remove function just uh, in here if we click remove it will go away from favorite movie list so I'm going to click all of the remove buttons so we don't have any favorite movie now in here. So this is what we are going to do. So first we will uh, make the brief template. So go to our text editor in here. First we need to make that page. So inside the view in here, I'm going to create the folder named uh, favorite page. And then inside the folder I just made, I make a new file named favorite page.js. And I will type ifce for the functional components. And then I will go to app.js to make that route for the favorite page. Import favorite, favorite page from views and favorite page and favorite page and we will make make one more route in here by copying and paste it and we will copy this one and paste it and anyone can go inside the favorite page so we will set this one as no and then um, pass will be just favorite eh, like this so i'm going to save it and i will also make the uh tab in here inside the nav bar. So first I need to go to nav bar in here, but it will be left nav bar. So I'm going to just delete this unnecessary parts and then I just, just copy this one and then paste it and the name will be favorite and just the favorite. And here the pass will be favorite because the, we set this pass as a favorite, so that's why we need to uh, say favorite in here and save in here. And now I want to turn up our application by typing npm run dev. So now we are inside uh, our application and inside the favorite page. So nothing we can see in here, but if we but if we type something in here, we can see this word favorite page in here. So we are going to make the brief template for this favorite page. First, we will make just this part and favorite movie by me. So and then and now we need to make this table and there are three columns so in here movie title and movie runtime and remove from favorite so So now I'm going to save it and then go back to our application in here. But we don't have any styling in here, so I need to make some styling for the table. So we flip back over to our editor in here. Just uh, I'm going to make the CSS file uh, named the favorite the CSS in here. Table font family.
and save it and we need to import the CSS file from the favorite page so in here import favorite.css and we need to save it and come back to our application so now we have some spot styling for this title so now what we need to do is this step two fetch favorite movie data from mongodb so we will do the used effect in here and then delete this part and this part and import this one from the red app and we will bring the use date to for later so i'm going to use the axios in here for post request and the name will be api and favorite and get favorite movie and we need to put the variables in here for which kind of properties do we need to have inside the variables so first constant and variables in here we just only need one property which is the user from because the we need to get all of the favorite movie edited by this user how can we get the a logged in user's id so we always get that from the local host so we will do it again this time so local host and get item and user id and then we will do then and response and if response and data and success and else here alert fail to get favorite video and we need to go here for making this api so favorite ross and copy and paste it and paste it in here and delete it so what we need to do in here is the we need to find all the movies that loading user added as a favorite movie so we will use the favorite models and find and user from so request and body and user from and execute the query and do callback function and fable reads and in here if error and return response and status 400 and send error and return and response response and status and 200 and json and success and true and favorite so now we go back to our favorite page and here's the after being successful for this api we need to put that all of the favorite movie information inside the state so state name will be favorite movies so initial state will be array so like this response data and favorites here so that's it for this step two so populate all the data in the browser so come back in here i'm just going to make one render table body and then we will declare this in here const like this and we will bring all of the favorite movies information in here we will do map and we got only one favorite movie and index so if we see here we have these three data sales so we need to first make that part return and tr and td and td and td first we need to put movie title so we bring from this the movie movie and movie title and the next one is movie runtime so movie movie runtime and the last one is the remove from the favorite so we just need to make the button in here remove from the favorites 
So I am going to save it in here and we go back to our application in here. Of course, I'm going to add some movie in here as a favorite movie. Where is the log? I need to log in and then I just uh, go in here and then click this one. So now we have our we have three favorite movies in here. Uh, but the difference from our original one and this one is when we over this one we can see this movie is the poster. So to do that, we are going to use the entity design framework. So and I will import the uh, popover from entity, and we will use this one uh, in here. So we will let this title part with this popover because uh, when we click just this part, we will have this popover. So that's why uh, I will let this that movie title with this popover, but uh, I need to give some props for this popover. That is the content. This content will be uh, this poster. And then we also need to uh, give this title props. So this will be just the movie's title. So first I'm just going to give this one and then we need to put the image in here but just uh, rather than just uh, put this image like this i will just declare in here first and then bring this one in here so i will just type the content and then we declare this content in here but we need to remember not every movie has their own post like this so we also need to consider that part so when movie and movie has their own post, we only the populate the image. If not, we will just display this no image words. And the source for the image is source and image URL. And, and we need to have the post size. This will be wide 500. And then name of the movie post, movie post so art. So now I'm going to save it and then go back to our application. So now we can see the pop over in here with the image of the movie post. So the last thing we need to do is to create the remove function. So when we click this remove buttons so we will just remove this favorite movie from the favorite list so we will go back to our editors and just uh, in here we will make the unclick and the name will be unclick remove so we will declare this one in here actually this action is the uh, same as this one so if we click this one this one remove this movie from the favorite list if i click this one again so it will add it so that's why it actually same as clicking this remove button so we will just use this api we use for this button so we go back to our editor and then go to favorite components and we just uh, uh, copy this one and then paste it in here but we don't need this one because we don't have that button in here and there is one thing we need to do differently but first we need to have these variables in here uh, if I declare that variable in here like we need to put the movie ID and then user from so we already got user from like this so copy and paste it like this and the movie id or oh, we will get this movie id from in here when we trigger this on click we will also send this movie id argument in here so movie and movie id like this 
so we can get this movie ID as a parameter as a movie ID so we put this one in here so we got all the properties for this variable and put this variable in here so so now I'm going to save it and then we go back to our application and go to favorite page and I'm going to just click this remove now we click it and then I refresh this page so that movie I just removed from the favorite has gone but, but what I just needed to do is to manually refresh this page like this so it has gone so after that that movie has disappeared but if we automatically want to let that movie go after we clicking this button is that we need to just trigger this API again so we get the fresh of favorite movie list so to do that so we need to use this part the second time so we need to set this one as a variable like this delete it and const fetch favorite movies here and then we will trigger this one as soon as this dome is loaded and then we also need to trigger this one after we delete the movie from the favorite list so I save it and then go back to our application and if I click it so uh, it automatically disappears after we click that one so thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section thank you